Hi, welcome to the second part of this screen replacement tutorial. In the first part, I explained you how to plan and shoot accordingly so you can make your job easier while editing. Now we are going to start with the footage that I shot. Now you are in After Effects. The first thing you want to do is always go to 32 or at least 16. Now you are going to be dragging this clip to here and now we have this. I don't want the first shaky part while I was getting ready. So I'm going to just drag it and here I want it about there. After that you are going to right click and trim composition to work area. That's the start. Now we want to be able to track these four points so that you can put something else there. One thing I forgot to mention in the previous tutorial is that you can adjust your brightness of your screen so that it doesn't blow out and the green is still green. This is a MacBook Retina and the brightness was halfway. So now we go to the beginning and we are going to go to Tracker. If it's not open, you can go Tracker. Now to track the motion, we are going to simply click Track Motion. It's obvious. Track Motion, then what you want to do is go Track Type and Perspective Corner Pin. Once you're there, it's going to give you four points, which is just basically going to create a corner pin data. Corner pin is an effect in After Effects, and you can find it here if you search for it. Now, what you want to do is go and place each point accordingly, like this, and actually make all of them bigger around the size of the circle. That's our goal with the inner box. And if you haven't used a tracker ever, then I'm gonna be explaining how it works. The inside is the area that it's trying to track in each frame and the outer box is gonna be the area that it's Italy it's searching for. If you make it bigger, it's going to take a, a longer time. Now, we don't want to make it too big, but we don't want to make it too small. And you'll just adjust it depending on your track. Now, once we are there, let's go fifth again to say everything. You're going to go ahead and create a new null object. This null object is actually going to be your placeholder. So you can rename it to track maybe. Now, go back to your layer, edit target, and track should be your target. In options, tracker, you don't have to mess with any of these. You can just, if confident is below, I can recommend you to make it stop tracking if it's below 90 to get a solid track. Let's go 200 and start tracking. This can take a long while or it can be faster depending on how big your trackers are. As you can see it stopped right there. So I'm going to go 400% and I'm going to play with all of these little small things to be sure that it tracks perfectly. Let's go one more frame. and. About that, yeah. So let's keep it going. Your screen has not. Uh, your screen doesn't have to be showing them anyway. Let's go, and I think they are perfectly clear. Let's look at this maybe, and keep going. Once we are finished tracking this, and you can see everything follows their path. 
what we are, what we are going to do is we are going to select apply and this is going to apply it to this track is we are gonna drag a screen by the way you can see actually <coughs> I pre-recorded this this is just me having fun 24 f frames sorry seconds so just in out and that's it now we are gonna so I actually <coughs> decided that you don't need an alt and it is completely unnecessary in this case so I deleted that now we're gonna be looking at this you see that we are gonna be dragging it over and it looks something like this this is my design that I'm gonna be using to replace the screen of the computer so what am I going to do is very simple we're gonna go ahead and we have to see the track and we go double click and we see everything now change the track tab to perspective corner and it's already tracked as you can see edit target replace screen dot mov and apply now when you open it it looks like it actually belongs there the only problem is obviously that it fits to a smaller spot now to fix that we are gonna actually scale this up if you scale this up very much you can see it's not highest quality but we don't need that anyway we are gonna do something like this and then you can actually use this option now let's look once we are done doing this <laughs> this is actually the final part so it's completely tracked this thing I mean there are some errors but it's completely about your track and you can fix those and I'm gonna show you how uh, something like this maybe or you can add a null object and manipulate that null object when you parent it to actually make this more reasonable of course it's about distortion so maybe you don't want to shoot with so much distortion then you don't have to use a 24 millimeter anyway so that's the second part and I'm gonna be moving to the third part right now 